Strap yourself in because we're set up, switched on, and ready to go. Enjoy this presentation of the Jimmy Mack Healing Show. Hey, everybody. It's Jimmy Mack coming to you live the Tampa Bay area of Florida. We're so glad that you're here and joining us tonight. Lots of folks listening, of course, on the URL, the little uh, link worldwide, which is always good on the what my, my 90-year-old mother calls. She, they're listening on the pooter. That's what she called the computer, the pooter. So God love her, and she's doing great. So everybody always asks, and uh, she's fabulous. So we're glad you're here tonight. We want to make it different for you every single Tuesday night, 9 p.m., Jimmy Mack Healing Show. And uh, tonight's no exception. We're excited about our guest coming up. I'll tell you about her in a minute. Uh, Also, tomorrow, Wednesday, 3 p.m., I'll be on Charlotte Spicer's show, and that's called Spiritual Insights. So this is about us pretty much giving away the store. We're going to be doing free psychic readings, of course, and healings worldwide. Uh, if you're not already on our list, send us an email, info at com, and we'll put you on our free little list, and all it is is affirmations and audio and video and show schedules. All of it's free. And then Thursday afternoon, I will be uh, also on Marla Martinson's show out of L.A. And that's all about love so and relationships. So be sure to look for these in the newsletter. Lots of great stuff going on. And uh, nonstop, uh, nonstop cray-cray, of course. I don't know. I'll have to ask Joanne what's been going on. It's not Mercury Retrograde, but people are melting down my phone and texting and emailing like uh, the world's ending. So... And it's not as of yet, so we're doing pretty good. But uh, we're glad everybody's here. If you want to get in on tonight, 713-955-0594. Don't forget to press 1 to raise your hand, and we'd love it if you keep it down to a question. We get it. Um, I have a list next to my nightstand in my bedroom, relationships, money, health. I mean, there's endless stuff I work on on myself, so I get that you can do that too. Uh, But see if you can't grab something from the top of your head. can be health, can be relationships, might be work, job, career, money, spiritualism, questions about life after death, whatever you got going on, we're going to help you with it and at least resolve it or at least uh, uh, make every effort to. So tonight's special guest is Psychic Joanne Leo. She's generally on with me the first Tuesday of the month, and I love that. She's got more than 30 years of experience, of course, giving psychic and medium readings and healings. She's appeared on several radio shows, of course, and ours consistently, of course, uh, booked as a reader. She's in the showcase in the Tampa Bay area always, and uh, she, of course, does emotional freedom technique, EFT, which has helped a lot of folks, anxiety, goal setting, readings, that sort of thing, achieve success for their lives. And her motto, of course, is readings of the heart. Her clients come from all areas around the country. She does do phone in person if you're in the Tampa Bay area as well. I'm sure she'd do Skype, Zoom, and whatever else you need. To. Phone works great, though, so it's really good. This is one of the few people I call on when I have a question. I can count those people on one hand. She's one of them. And she provides individual course sessions, personal sessions, sessions via phone. Uh, She's also available for groups and psychic parties and, of course, corporate events. So you can find out more about her at Psychic Joanne Leo. Of course, that's P-S-Y-C-H-I-C Joanne Leo, like I'm a Leo, and she is too.com. How are you tonight, honey? (laughs) I'm great. Jimmy, how are you? I'm doing good, thank you. I was gonna. I keep needing to ask you. I know it's not retrograde. What in the world's going on? It's got to be a net 
Neptune with a Jupiter shooter or what in the world's happening? Do you think that so many folks seem to be uh, feeling like they're grasping that straw hanging off the mountain? What, what's your opinion? A Gemini. <laughs> oh, no, Gemini. we're in Gemini. I got it. Yeah, and the, I got and the, moon, it. The, okay. the moon, the new moon is in Gemini, and it's like, oh my God, it's like, oh, it's, okay. It's, 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 Makes people bazonkers because you know most Gemini's live in their head more than they do outside of the lips. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, one of my besties is the lawyer, and you know my joke to him is, "I never know where you're going to hit me or kiss me." Right? So exactly, I get it. That's a Gemini. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's or exactly. both, or or exactly. hit me and then apologize and kiss me. I don't know. They're they're all funny like that. Well, when you, um, when you think about the twins, when you think about Gemini twins, you don't know no, if one's makes coming sense or now. going. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Makes total sense so, now, honey. Hey, tell folks how to get a hold of you for a private reading. I know it's psychicjoanneleo.com. What's the best phone number or the email address, honey? Uh, they can always reach you by phone 727-743-3400. Uh, okay. Or they can email me at psychic Joanne with an E J O A and an E Leo at gmail dot com. Okay, perfect. Got it. Well, we're so glad you're here. And gosh, thanks for straightening up the mystery of Gemini and Gemini with the side of Gemini, right? Yeah, yeah Isn't that it, funny? it just kind of it kind of gives a little zinger to things. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> mhm. Mhm. Well. It explains a lot to me now, that's for sure. Hey, we'll grab some callers. 212 is our first caller. It's Bren. How are you tonight? Where are you calling from, Hello. honey? Uh, hi, Jimmy. It's Bren from New York oh, City. Oh, Bren, yeah. Calling. You're out of New York area? New York City, yeah. Manhattan, the Big Apple. Manhattan. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Welcome to the yeah. show. Uh, hi, you got a hi question there, for Joanne? Yeah, I got a specific question. It's very important to me. Um... So hi Joanne. Um, hi Brian. So hi Brian. Hi there. Hi. So so I pretty much feel that New York City is no longer the place for me to be. It's a, it's very um, too much concrete, very driving, and uh, even though I grew up here, it's almost like I'm looking at. Uh, a relocation this year and I'm looking at like the Cape Cod area. I need to be I feel like I need to be by water like by, well, by an, You definitely, definitely need to be by water. What's your birthday, Brian? Well, here you go. July 3rd I'm a Cancer, you know <laughs> oh, oh, that's that's beautiful Well, anyway, this I, you know, I'm, an, I'm a master numerologist so yeah. it's your soul I'm picking into your soul, honey so right now you're in a year where it's kind of like I've got to have law and order. I've got to have a strong foundation. I'm ready to move. And I do right. feel that water is a very powerful energy just by looking at your – is it B-R-E-N? Is that how you spell it? No, B-R- B-R-Y-N. Y-N. Okay. B-R-Y-N, well, yeah. you should, you should, do you always follow your <laughs> gut? Uh, not as often as I sh- ought to, I think. Yeah, see, it's a gift right in the middle of your name there, and you really should pay attention because if you don't pay attention, it turns to impatience. Um, right. But I, but you're 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 ready to go. I'd say um, August would be really good for you. Um, uh, another one is October. Um, okay. I think you I think you really need to pull up stakes. I really, really, truly do. You're ready to go. Because spiritually, um. I, I, I don't feel good physically either. It's, it's, it's affecting me physically and emotionally, and and it's just too driving. It's like well, it's a driving you're city, talking, you know. And, you're, well, you're talking yeah. to a girl who's from Chicago. It does, it's, you know, that's a mini New York. I, and I right. moved to Florida, so I get what you're saying, but I definitely think the, you know, you definitely should be near the water. Uh, as long as it Cape... supports you. Go ahead. Sorry. As long as it is, you know, you can financially not, you know, give up too much. Yeah. Do you think Cape Cod is a good choice?
choice. Uh, do you get a sense of that, Cape Cod area? I got a big. As soon as you said it earlier, I had a really great feeling mm-hmm. about Cape Cod. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Right. How about you? Yep. A hundred percent. Yep, yep, yep. Huh. Keep in mind that the energy of the city, and I've been to New York, and I've been to Cape Cod, and, you know, been to the city a bunch, but, you know, it's all, the whole thing's racing. I mean, Sinatra calls it the city that never sleeps, right? Yeah. So it has it that is, racy, racy, intense feel uh, of yeah. get the hell out of my way, and i got to go to this place or whatever. Yeah. You know? So that's right. what you're caught up in, and, you know, for the cancer Most- types that love home and hearth and just hanging out in the water i mean that ain't you so um, yeah if not now when right so if you can afford it anywhere along cape cod test good for you uh higher than that or lower than that just below cape cod even would be okay for you well the 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 timing i get is july august and september okay Um, yeah i get september uh, i really feel really strong about Mm -hmm. that that's a real good cycle for you that i'm looking at for your year Right here. Mm-hmm. So uh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I have what, to. I have to make an investment. Yeah, and you're going to stage it. It's like Joanne saying, you might, you might start selling in July, you know, around your birthday, and in August you might find something up there, and in September you might move. So it has a bunch right. of stages to it, and that's fine. Sure, and yeah, well, it would have it. to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, of course. Uh, yeah, so I get it. You've been um, there forever. So yeah, you know, but that's. I think she's spot on with that. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense? All right. Well, thank you. Thank you both. You're well, welcome. We're glad you listened to the show. We're glad you called in. You might want to reach out to her if you want to go deeper, you know, sure. on doing some more cards or astrology. It's up to you. Okay? Right. Okay. Thank you both. Awesome. Thank you, Joanne. Thanks for calling in. We yeah. appreciate you listening. Yeah. yeah take care. Keep us posted. Right. Now we got to know. <laughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> Joe Lee, five six one. How are you, honey? Hi, Jimmy. How are you? Good, thanks. Thanks for listening Hi, and calling in. Yeah. <laughs> you got a question for Joanne, honey? Yes, I do. So, um, I'm just wondering, Joanne, if you see um a full time job coming up for me, please, sometime soon. What was your name? Jolene, did you say? It's Jolie, like J O L I E. Okay, Jolie, I love that. What's your birthday, Jolie? April 12th. Okay. So, oh, you're in a good year. Because uh, this is like for new beginnings or whatever, too. So, um, you know, the previous year and a half, I, don't, I would say, wasn't your easiest rodeo. Is that about right? <laughs> yeah, the last 10. Well, the last 18 months were kind of like a, a soul thing. It's kind of like you had to really kind of tear things apart. It's like going up into an attic. This is a keeper. This is my treasure. This I don't know, and this is definitely going. People, places, and things in your life. So it kind of goes in cycles with our soul, and that's where you were at for a year and a half. Now you're in a brand-new cycle. So you want to know about a job job opportunity, correct? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, there's This is really, um, have you been putting out resumes? Because you're really in a good cycle right at this moment until the end of June. And I really feel like uh, by the time summer comes, you should really make a whole turnover here. So I do feel like there is something coming. Um, I guess the the kicker is here is communication, right? You're waiting to hear on an answer. Have you been applying? Yes, I've been. Yeah, applying. I'm waiting to hear, but um, I don't know. I just uh, I'm working a part time job, and it's getting to where I really need a full time job. Right. Well, I feel that you're going to get one, but by the same token, you got to put out about three to four resumes a day. Okay. Um, and, and if you could put, great, because uh, it's all on the numbers now, hon. The job market is booming, but you you know it's, it's like uh, it's not like you get face to face anymore. So you've got to do it in volume. That, that the the name of the game now is the numbers and getting okay. your resume awesome. current. Okay, um, are you gearing yourself to doing something um, with communication? What do you do? 
Um, um, most of what I do is like accounts receivable or um, collections, you know, bill collections. Okay. Well, you shouldn't have any problems with your experience. So I say, you know, uh, keep uh, putting out those resumes because I do feel like this could be the uh, by the end of the month you could really see some um, concrete uh, results. But I do feel okay, like well, summer, you, you definitely, I mean, you're over this part-time thing. I can tell you right now, I can feel it in your energy. So oh. um, I, I think you just have a lot more balance coming in the next six months after we close out June, okay? Awesome. That's, That's encouraging. Right. Yeah. yeah, it is. Definitely. Thank you mm-hmm. so much. You're welcome. Yeah, we're glad you called in, honey. Absolutely. We'll help you any way we can, of course. Joanne, I find that too, don't you, that folks are, uh, you know, it is volume. My youngest son said he thinks they got a lot of the bigger companies have bots looking at the resumes and going through it and readers. And if you don't have, uh, you know, some certain criteria, you're out. They might have 1,100 resumes submitted for that one job or whatever. It's crazy. So it, it, it's changed it, it, a lot. It, 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 mm-hmm. Well, do you know the it's new thing about lot. what what we do when we take these callers, you know, I'm I'm tapping into their soul energy and what's going on in their personal year. So um, mm-hmm. yeah, that that kind of gives me a real good microscope uh, to their question. So Love um, it. she should do, she should do uh, okay, but like I said, it's got it's definitely in the numbers now. Yeah, definitely. 619 is our next caller. Hi, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Jimmy. This is Amy in San Diego. Hey, Amy. How are you? San Diego. Welcome. San Diego. Yeah. yeah. I love that. You got a question yeah, we're not for having Joanne? Sun here. We're missing sun this year. We're in gloom and really? gloom. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. That's Lots of rain and gloom and gloom. That's hard to believe. Yeah, I mean, I could count the you know number of sun days we've had probably on one hand this year. Literally, it's crazy. Wow, that is unusual, though. Did yeah, you have a question guys... for Joanne, honey? Yeah, I do. I am just feeling so blah. I love food and nutrition. I want to help people learn to eat really healthy. I've been through my own 27-year experience of anorexia and bulimia years ago, and I just feel like I am not getting anywhere in this world. You know, I like metaphysics, and I like, you know, Mother Nature and food, and I don't know how to get my mojo going. Well, I think that one thing that I – what's your birthday, Amy? Let me look at you for a minute, hon. August 5th, 1962. Okay, here's the deal. I think you um, you really should think about doing a blog or doing podcasts. Uh, I think would be very good with your recovery and how you've overcome two big stumbling blocks, number one. Um, I really, truly feel like this is a year for you to branch out, though. But I, I think, you know, by now, it's kind of like you said, gloom and doom. I'm a girl from Chicago, and when the sun shines, they talk about it for a a week. Oh, Sunday. Do you remember Sunday, how great it was? And the rest of the week is great. Do you understand? It can wear on your soul. Uh, uh-huh. But the thing is, is I, I'm a big believer in motivating yourself with positive statements. You know, uh, focusing on the I am is very powerful because you've got to get yourself unstuck here. Okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I tap all the time. And the morning, I'm great, but I just, I have a blog, but I just I should maybe blog tonight. I have my blog. Well, you have so. to make this problem here. You start and then you stop and then you you know you let it go and this and that. You have to be proficient at that constantly, especially because I I had a my stepdaughter battled anorexia and it's it's a challenge and it's frightening for the people that love you. So I think you've got a lot to say. I think you've got a lot to share. You might want to put in um, anorexia recovery or healing from anorexia or bulimia. That type. There's a there's a big audience out there that needs mm-hmm. healthy information. 
uh, in my opinion. And I really feel that you need to do that. I just think you have to stop procrastinating. That's your problem. Okay. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a procrastinator. This is weird. So, okay, great. I right. love that. Thank you. Yeah, okay. definitely lean it towards uh, diet, digestion, exercise, the bulimia thing. Touch on all that. Um, you know, if you ever want to do a radio show, you know, we we have uh, Reverend Tiffany White Sage woman, and so she uh, is our producer, and she's very reasonable and monitors everything and helps you with all the back end on blog talk so reach out and email us if you want if you're ever interested in that but i think you just need to go wild you need to be doing a blog you need to be doing a weekly radio show and be known more as that person about exercise and bulimia and diet digestion just dive headlong into that yeah and plus the fact that uh, i don't know if you too amy i think what you need to do is you've got to go from the perspective of the of the family or the spouse or the mate of somebody who's experiencing that stuff because they're having a hard time too. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, totally. I totally get sure, that. Sure. Totally, totally. Okay, yeah. great. Thank you. Right. Thanks so much for calling in. We appreciate it, honey. You bet. Bye bye. You bet. Have a good night. Gosh, that's so true. And there's just so much going on, you know, with people like that. And, uh, folks, you're going to want to call in 713-955-0594 and press 1 to raise your hand. Um, gosh, Joanne, uh, tell folks how to get a hold of you, honey, the best uh, the best website, of course, and the email address. Well, you can see my website is psychicjoanne, J-O-A-N-N-E, leo.com. You can always get me by phone or text. 727-743-3400 because I do work by appointment like you do. Mm-hmm. And yeah. um, email is psychicjoanne with an E, leo at gmail.com. Lots of folks on the call. You want to press one to raise your hand and go from there. Gosh, Joanne, throw cards for me. I love you. Well, I See know what's going true. on. I mean, I, yeah, I you know, you know my my date of birth by uh, by heart. We got to get together I soon. <laughs> I well, after twenty my whole, something years, my whole of- world's <laughs> on the web. I don't even care what anybody hears or knows anymore. I'm live I, on my own I, radio I, show, going read me, read me. <laughs> I I know your birthday by heart, honey. Okay, I uh, love it. Been, over twenty something years, I've been reading you and your crew. So right. Yeah. I know. Love All right, that. so let me jump these up here really good and see what we get. I read shoes cards, folks, and um, it's a lost art. It's from the 80s. Uh, mm-hmm. They're read astrologically uh, and psychically and numerically. So it's um, the people that uh, design these uh, have all passed on. Weren't so they out of St. Pete at one time? Yes, and it was Pete, yeah, North Saint Pete Florida. Yeah, St. Pete, Florida. Yeah. And you can't find shoes to readers anymore. It's just, it's really kind of a, a lost art. Mm-hmm. But they do zero in on everything that's going on. Well, there is t- money, Jimmy, is coming. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Uh, we've been doing good. No, no, you're going to hear something. There's going to be something that's going to be presented to you that's going to be very uh, profitable. And I do feel like it's going to be a woman reaching out to you. Um, Love it. Or the exact. Uh, She's of a, a she's the power of the pen, so that's good. Um, mm-hmm. And and it's definitely going to be a financial uh, blessing coming on there. Um, you know, when it gets into this other part here too, don't let anybody drain your batteries. And I know you're really good about working on yourself, but you know mm-hmm. this is on a this is more like um, on a personal level or whatever here. But it's just like. I know you have it's saying here, I have concerns, and um, I don't, you know, it's kind of like a being in the swamp, so to speak. Okay, well, let's see. Am I, is that going to be quicksand, or is that going to be just slip, slip mud? Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like making a decision of what direction I'm going to go in, okay? Right. Unexpected 
a company or a phone call of that you that you're going to have, and you get this all the time here. So uh, uh, the most important with this this uh, phone call or this situation or whatever, the person has to take on accountability and authority. So if they're mm-hmm. coming to you from a weakened state that they just don't have the effort or they don't want to put the effort, you know the answer to that one. Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, honey, okay. I have that morning, noon, and night phone calls and texts and emails and why Jimmy why you know it's our favorite kind of go to yeah it's, it all ends and begins with them you know that so yeah it's just we can yeah. we can help them all we can but they still got to uh they still got to make it happen so definitely right right um but I definitely feel like there's a new adventure coming it's going to be more in the fall, there's something coming up in the fall, and I feel like it's going to be something of a, I don't know if it's like an expo, uh, some sort of major event, but uh, I definitely feel like you're going to be one of the highlights to that event. I love that. Yeah, we've yeah. got a lot of summits and things coming up. We're having to spread them out. We've been invited to so many cool things, so I'm excited for Sandy, that is you're helping me out too, of course. But you know, we have radio right. shows all the time that when we have summits and you know different packages and things out there and lots of people, it's uh, it's always refreshing. So That's we have good. something like June, July, August right now. So some pretty big now, things. It's, so it mostly, makes sense. Uh, as far as your health goes or whatever, don't let anybody drain your batteries on an emotional level here. Mm-hmm. So that is, but you have all these healing cards that surround that, that uh, take care. Also, to lock, lock all your doors. Okay. Yeah. When I get this 100%. card here, it's like, it's like lock your doors and protect your PIN numbers. Okay. Mm-hmm. Answered prayers. Oh my goodness. So. This is going to be something that I think a, a lot of things that you've been working on prayers answered. Uh, you got the victory card here, and this, oh, good. Has to do with, this has to do with the relationship. So I feel like mm. there could be a new relationship, but you have got to, you've got to be more open and receptive and make your non-negotiable list that we talked about a hundred times. Right. Well, tell everybody what that is. They need to know. Well, non-negotiable, non-negotiable list, list, people. Okay, you know. Uh, we go through, you know, sometimes our heart gets broken or we're disappointed in a relationship. I like to look at life like a book. You know, we have different chapters. At the end of a chapter, you have a pretty good idea, so it's kind of like people, places, and things. What was the lesson from that chapter, from that experience, should give you an aha moment? So a non-negotiable mm-hmm. list is really your boundaries. Uh, you know, mm-hmm. and it has to be written because there is the power from your hand to your brain when it's on a piece of paper. And then you see mm-hmm. it. So 89% of the decisions we make in life are something that is visual. So by making the list with, you know, written, it, it, it works on your sensory perceptions as well. So if I do this every day, so if I had to go through my non-negotiable list that I wrote many years ago, It was if they were an alcoholic or a druggie, I was not going to be the rehab center because I already learned that lesson. I can't fix Mm -hmm. them. Uh, Second thing is to say I had to be an excellent communicator. Uh, Another thing is to say I had to be an incurable romantic because I realized that I needed an affectionate person. Um, Mm. I needed somebody who was not afraid to say that they were sorry. That's on my non-negotiable. They had to be somebody that was goal-oriented and supportive of my goals. Um, they had to be trustworthy. I had to trust them. The trust is an earned thing, by the way, folks. Um, Mm -hmm. And then the the second thing is respect so that I would keep my self-respect intact and also respect the other person. Um, Mm -hmm. I I mentioned communication already. They also had to be somebody who was goal, you know, career, you know, had a career because I wasn't going to support a man baby. So, there's a lot of right. man babies out there, ladies, so no, I wasn't going to do that again. Um, it had to be somebody who really was family-oriented, 
and uh, that was very important to me, be, whether that they were close to their family and that they mm-hmm. had those interactions. It had to be somebody uh, who definitely loved to dance because I like to dance and I love music. So <clears throat> those were some of my non-negotiables. Uh, where I find people get into a perfection mode, they're going to be miserable their whole life because nobody's ever going to mm-hmm. fit the bill. Right. Um, you know, you can find somebody that meets all your qualities on your uh, boundary non-negotiable list, and they won't like the way they hold a fork or chew their food, so they kick them out. So you, they're losing their joy. You know, you're not going to mm-hmm. find anybody. I, in 40 years of reading, I haven't met one happy perfectionist yet. Mm-hmm. Not one. Wow. And in all accounts. In all the relationship readings I do, when respect is gone, it's pretty much finished. Uh, mm-hmm. But I do, uh, if there's still respect left in the relationship, uh, you know, of course I encourage them for counseling or to have, uh, I, I teach them how to do heart-to-heart talks or, or um, you know, be better communicators. I think that that is key. you got to have trust, respect, and communication if it's going to be with the word love. That's huge. Yeah. And so folks need to do that. You know, I love Rudy Hunter. He's out of New York, great healer, and he does a lot of podcasts and different things. And he'll talk about, uh, gosh, uh, Walking the Charts is one of his programs I've heard before. And, you know, he says, uh, you know, if you're praying only for blonde-haired, blue-eyed doctors, he says you're not practicing the, you know, the non-negotiable list. Uh, you're just practicing fussiness and exclusion, and because that would rule out everybody is not the blonde hair, blue eyed doctor, right? And this goes for men and women. So I find that very interesting, and I just really laughed over that and thought that was so cute. And my pieces are bigger than that. I think of respect, like you, and love, honesty, trust. They're more conceptual than they are, you know, blonde hair and blue eyed doctor, right? And so those are things that, you know, a lot of folks will start out with here's a little trust and here's a little bit more. Next week I'll give you a little more trust. And you're Leo like me. I trust somebody 100% and it's up to them to kind of mess it up, you know. So it's very interesting. But yeah, folks need to work on that too. We'll probably. Trust is an earned so, thing, Jim. Yeah, yeah um, 100%. And I think it's really, really I think it's, uh, when I say that you have to have those three things, and I'm not kidding, uh, because if if you don't communicate or you can't agree to disagree uh, mm-hmm. and come to, you know, come to some resolution, I hear what you're saying, uh, let me think about it, uh, and, and come to some sort of uh, compromise or understanding uh, can solve so much heartache, really, truly. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Hey, uh, Reverend Tiffany's got her hand up for me. I am me on the back, the back bat channel here. Her birth date is twelve twenty nine. She wondered if you'd pull a card for her about career and money, honey. Oh, I will. I will. Well, let me do her numbers first. Hang on a yeah. second. Let me get this. Let me get your cards up here and clear these for a sec. All right, Miss okay. Tiffany, who I absolutely adore. Yeah, she's great stuff. December twenty ninth. What's her birthday? Twi- December twenty ninth. Twelve twenty nine. Okay, well, that doesn't surprise me. Her and I were together in a previous life. We have the same. We we are connected for sure. Very very intuitive. Very very intuitive. Um. Okay, so she is, this is, oh, my God, this is a, her year to make money and to advance, that's for sure. Oh, good. This is a time to blow it up and put the pedal to the metal. Love it. Um, let's see here. Um, new opportunities coming, working hard. I mean, I'm not going to say that this is going to be a piece of cake here. But I do feel that it's the fruits of all the hard work and the labor are starting to really gel together here. Mm-hmm. 
and I really, really feel like um, there's more coming as far as the intuitive work or where she's going to be playing a very strong role in with her work. Isn't that the question? She was about her work, right? Oh, there's no question, yeah. It's a Capricorn, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Let's see, two, three, what would be the stumbling blocks? Anything here? No. Okay. Yeah, 1229. She's still Capricorn. I always okay, remember because so my mother's Christmas right. Day and my brother was well, New Year's Day. All right, let me get some cards here for Tiffany. Let's see, that was just her number. But she's in a very, she's in her power year this year, so... She really has got to pull together everything that her goals and what she wants to achieve. I know that I, um, I've i recommended her to several people that have are thrilled with her work. Yeah. She does not, she does that. I think not Carolyn got her own show, too. Carolyn Carey, well, you'd referred. Uh, yeah. Well, and then after Carolyn, I got Laura and I got. Um, um, oh, yeah. Laura's out of Tampa area. Yeah, yeah. And Very Melissa, cool. And, and Melissa. So uh, mm-hmm. they're doing good. good. Yeah. Gosh, Joanne, you should be good. on all their shows. They owe you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to be on Laura's coming up at some point, and I'm oh, and good. I usually do Carolyn's. Yeah. Um, she has a popular good. show. It's all about angels and stuff, so it's very interesting. It's yeah, it's different. Well, she I do a lot of cards. angel stuff. I do angel stuff with my. You're, you're going to want them for that show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah, I definitely mm-hmm. use use my angels all the time. But anyway, as far as Tiffany goes, there's something to do with contracts that are coming up. And guess what's in the middle of it is it's like the power of God is like in the midst of everything, making things happen here. Very blunt. Wow. This is coming up here. This is huge. And um, I feel like something great is coming up, uh, and it should all gel together by September. Mm. Say. Uh, major event of. Uh, there's somebody around her, or she needs to identify this person who makes her a little um, testy. In other words, she does. She feels like she doesn't know if they're coming, going, whatever. They're just very indecisive. Um, mm. she, she needs to address that um, because I really feel like it's. I just don't want her to be taken advantage of. Okay, mm-hmm. so I, I'm not real clear if it's somebody in the. Let's see here. Is this somebody that she knows right now? Hold on a second. No, it's somebody that's going to be coming in, that's going to be introduced to her or brought into her pathway. Mm. It's not somebody that she knows right now, but she just needs to get to the quick of it once she starts seeing that it's a little um, toasty. A little, it's, they're just not on above board. Mm. Makes me a little concerned. Major I think she'll coming. ferret them out in a hurry, honey. I have I have faith in that, but it's a good heads up. You know what I mean? Once they start oh, yeah. going sideways on her or me, off the beaten track, we're out. <laughs> um, so. Definitely blessed of prosperity. She's got the prosperity card here with a new business idea or more business or increasing business. It's a business card. Um, mm. Her moon's so, in Leo, too, by the way. <clears throat> She's got some Leo going on like you and me. Well, Her moon is in Leo. My moon is in Scorpio, but but she her moon connects to our sun, so we were all together before. Mm. Okay. You have a Leo sun. I have a Leo sun, she has a Leo moon. So we were we're all connected. We from past Wow. Life. Yeah. But this is really good. Her heart's desire is fulfilling her goals and her wishes, her dreams. There's prosperity. Um, the only thing that will stand, don't let anybody stand in your way or be negative. She's got to negate those people right off the bat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right off the bat. But, you know, I'm, I'm a sure straight that shooter. she will. You know, I'm a straight shooter reader, Jimmy. I call it, you know. No, there's no doubt. Reader. Yeah, yeah. You may not always like what she says, but she'll tell you the truth, that's for sure. But but it's with love. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. 
<clears throat> no, I get it. Yeah, her joke is she has a magic wand and poof, they're gone. <laughs> <laughs> well, I always like to say uh, it's the velvet hammer so that you just don't get the hit The velvet hard. hammer. I like that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I've been using that That's term so for, 40, for 40 years. The velvet yeah. hammer. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's my daughter. Wow. That's my daughter. She's she was raised with the velvet hammer. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. She she has said her guides have told her before to be an iron fist in a velvet hammer. How funny is that? <laughs> that's got that's got some Thor and mysticism all blended into that, doesn't it? Good lord. Yeah. Folks, give yeah. us a call. There's a lot of folks on the call, of course, seven one three. Nine five five zero five nine four. A lot of folks listening on the internet as well. But you got to press one if you want to ask a question. We could talk to Joanne all night. We love it. So very cool. But press one, and uh, let's get you in. All right. You know, eight one eight. Our next caller, Carolyn, hey, out of L.A. How are you, Carolyn? Hey, I'm doing great. How are both of you doing? Hey. Oh, well, we're glad you I- called in, honey. Thanks for pressing one. <laughs> yes, I have a question. You, you know uh, how to do uh, it. Well, you're on the phone right. with the right girl. <laughs> yeah, is there anything in the cards that I should be aware of coming up for me? And my birthday is August 22nd. Okay. Have you got some family uh, reunion or gatherings going on this year, Carolyn? Not that I know of, but I always wanted to get something together. Okay, because I really feel like this summer, uh, there's, you know, I don't know if it's going to be a picnic reunion or something or getting the family together. I think it would be really good for everybody's spirit to do that. Uh, it's been a long well, time. Hasn't it? They have. I've always yeah. um, asked them, let's get together, and nobody wanted to do anything. I think they will do it this time. Well, you know, there's nothing like the present. That's what I say. Okay, let me see what we got going here for you, Carolyn. Okay. Eight one yes. eight. Whoa. The couch just went sliding all over the place. That's pretty good. Ooh, that's let's exciting. get let's get moving. Let's get moving. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like there should be some talk or or sending out um an email, a letter, or something that needs to be where there's the gathering to take place or, you know, uh, how's everybody for the month of, let's say, July, August, September, whatever. Okay. Uh, but I do feel like there needs to be some communication going on here. Okay? Oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. There, there's something that uh, – have you been planning or uh, trying to save up for something that you – you've been planning on, on doing? I don't know if it's something adventurous or a trip or doing something. Yeah, I wanted like, to like go a, on a trip. I wanted to go to really Hawaii and wanted the family to go. Uh, I wanted well, us to go together, uh, my immediate family. Well, see, that goes, with, that, mm-hmm. goes with your, that goes with your numbers here. So now it takes communication is going to be the, the crux of it's going to be the key for this whole thing is, is the communication of coming up with a month and agreement here. But I do feel um, like this would be really something that would be really good for everybody's soul, to be honest with you, uh, because I think that reconnection is really uh, – it's going to be very rewarding for everybody concerned. Uh, there's oh, something okay. that either you're going to get in the mail or you're going to – you're going to have to look at, but I want you to read the fine print on anything that you purchase or if it's a renewal of some sort or what the changes are here, okay? Oh, okay. Fine print. Okay. It's not bad, but I just want you to pay attention. Okay. Pay attention, okay. Now, um, have you uh, recently done any redecorating or anything different in your house? No, well, I painted the outside. I, I had the, uh, the exterior painted, and I'm just trying to clean it up and throw away junk. 
I want to move. Okay. Okay, because this is saying there's something that you've done or that you're in the process of doing that requires something to do with improving your home. Oh, yeah. Okay. The, mm. the thing is, it says, uh, you, have you been stressed out lately? Oh, yes. Uh-huh. I said at least, okay. at least the last 15 years. Yeah, I feel like you need a break, honey. You need some, you know, I, you, you need to either go t- start taking walks or join a, a, a group of some sort. Do something because you have got to give yourself a little stress relief. Yeah, I am. I'm so stressed out. Well, I want to say the last year, maybe the last 18 months, has really been, you know, your your faith has kept you glued together, I can tell you that. But I just <laughs> think that there's there's a lot of things in the past that you can't change, but you can accept. Okay? Yeah. And so it's kind of like you've got the God card here trying to tell you that it's okay to heal yourself, that, you know, to love yourself, and then move on from the past to baggage, so to speak. All right. You know, I like the affirmation, I love myself, I forgive myself, and I totally and completely accept myself. When you can work with that ac- affirmation repeatedly to that where it mm-hmm. clicks for you, it really gives you a sense of peace, Carolyn. Okay? Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'd like and that's to what work I'm with that. For. Well, okay. try that affirmation. It, it worked for me. I don't know if I said it 500 times, 1,000 times, but now that I really can feel, because you have to realize when you're a two-year-old kid, don't touch yeah. that, don't look that way, don't say that, be nice, uh, share your toys. You know, we all learn how to, you know, have that self-doubt about ourselves or that insecurities or whatever. And then we grow up and we make some choices that we're not too thrilled with or we get thrown into situations. We have to just breathe and say, okay, let's learn, move on. Um, right. You know, that's where the forgiveness comes in. But it's not about oh. forgiving everybody else. we got to forgive ourselves. Ourselves, okay. That- well, we have to love ourselves also. I've been working on that. I'm looking in the mirror and telling myself I love myself and I love everything I've about heard- me. i got to uh, concentrate on forgiving. Right, work on the forgiveness and the acceptance. See, that's the kicker. When you get to the acceptance part, you see, I love myself, I forgive myself, and I accept myself. When you get to that acceptance part, it it, it puts the bow. It's like tying the bow on the package. Okay, all right. Okay, I will do that. That's good information. Love that. Thank you. Stand up, Carolyn. We'll, We'll rock it out for you real quick. Okay. I'm getting up slow, yeah. so let me. That's okay. Take your time, honey. Let's I'm just a... do a big prayer for you and everybody who ever hears the sound of my voice. And we're just going to do love and acceptance and forgiveness throughout our lives here and now. It's going to pull you forward when it comes in. Yes, it did. And it's going to bring you back to neutral once it's done. Yes, it did. Love it. And that's for everybody. And we're just going to ditch out for you and everybody ever hears the sound of my voice on this show or even the replay, uh, chaos, drama, mystery, intrigue, and upset, especially all this stress, anxiety, and tension you're experiencing now. We're going to release yes. that. It's going to pull you back when it leaves. Yes, it pulled me back. There Thank you, you go. And we're going to dump all that out like a vessel, and it's going to bring you back to neutral once it's done. Yes, I did. Outstanding. So you test out pretty good because for you to take only that amount of time, it tells me you've been doing the work, right? So oh, I've been doing the keep work. Keep the faith. Many, yeah, many keep years. the faith. And uh, gosh, think of it as chess more than checkers, you know, and keep it moving, honey. Yes, I will. It's positive. And thank you for your assistance, yeah. Jimmy. And you thank bet. you for joining us. Yeah, we're thrilled you called in, honey. Thank you so much for listening. We appreciate it. No Have a great night. You I bet. will. You Take too. care, honey. Bye-bye. You bet. Bye for now. Gosh, great show, Joanne. Flew by as always. You got anything else you want to add, honey? At least let folks know how to get a hold of you. Give me a call, 
888-346-3400. They can also check out my website, which is psychicjoanne, J-O-A-N-N-E, leo.com. And I also have psychicjoanneleo at gmail.com, and they can reach me there to schedule an appointment. I do do soul readings, which is the name on your birth certificate and your birth date. It's uh, your blueprint that you designed in heaven. And uh, so with tons of information, and I do that along with a card reading and follow up with Love angel that. cards. So it's very, I'm a very different kind of reader. I love it because it's got a little sprinkling of the astrology, the numerology, all of it, you know, so spot on. We're so happy to have you on, honey. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. Well, so, thank you. We appreciate it. It's always a pleasure. I want to thank uh, Reverend Tiffany White Sage Woman, too, for producing us, Sandy Bittinger for always making me look good, even when I don't. And we love you guys and want to thank everybody for listening tonight on the URL network for blog talk, of course, on the uh, Internet as well as phone. We're here every Tuesday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I want to wish everybody the rest of your life will be the best of your life and make progress every day. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. Bye for now.